Greetings. This is Amy Wentley, and I'm with Chai Knuckles Knitting, and this is episode 2018-9, The Galloway Cardigan, The Last Row of the Body, The Division Round. I'm teaching a class at Hillsboro Yarn Shop currently on the Galloway Cardigan by Jared Flood, and the cardigan is is started out in three pieces, the body, and then you knit the two sleeves. You join them and then work the yoke. So when you finish the body, you need to divide the sweater, that's why it's called the division round, into the fronts and the back section and the armholes. And so this video shows you how to do that. These are the instructions out of the pattern and I have knitted a very tiny sweater. This is about oh, maybe a third of the size of a regular sweater to show you how to do the last row of the body, the division round. So what you have here is the body and I've got these two green markers that mark my five steak stitches. Then I have a marker for the neck opening I have a marker for the side, then another orange marker for the side, then for the neck opening, and then my last steak marker. <clears throat> so the first in part of the instruction says work to steak marker, slip the marker, and knit two together. So I'm here and I'm going to work up to the left steak marker. The right steak marker is really the end of my round. So I'm working to the left steak marker. I'm going to slip that marker and then I'm going to knit two together right off the bat. Then it says work as established to a certain number of stitches before the side marker. <clears throat> and this is a tiny version of the sweater, so I'm working to two stitches before the side marker instead. And the side marker here is the orange marker, so I'm going to work as established. And that means work the line of whatever, whatever line you are in the chart. And this would be the um, lice stitch section. And you work that... <clears throat> I'm going to continue past this neck opening marker. I'm going to slip that. Don't need to work to the neck opening. I need to work to the side marker. So I'm going to go to two stitches before the side marker instead of what's written here because I have a smaller sweater. And then I'm going to follow the next instruction that says bind off. So I'm going to bind off the next four stitches if you're doing the big sweater, you'll do more, but I'm only doing four stitches. So I'm going to bind off the next four stitches, and you'll notice half of them are before the marker and half of them are after. So I'm going to bind off one, two, and I slip the marker, and I bind off the other half, three, or no, remove it says removing the side marker, so I'm going to remove the side marker now. I'll just leave it right there. <clears throat> so I'm going to bind off two more. One, two. So that's four stitches that I bound off. Notice I still have one stitch on my right needle. That's fine. And four stitches bound off. Okay, so I bound off four stitches for the underarm, and I removed the side marker. And it says repeat from dot once more. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to work as established to two stitches before the side marker and I'm going to bind off four stitches for the underarm and I'm going to remove the side marker. So this I am now on the this is the front of the sweater this is the underarm that I just bound off and right now I'm working across the back of the sweater. So this is just going to take a minute as I work all those stitches on this little teeny tiny sweater. <clears throat> so just bear with me. And I'm working up to the side marker, which is going to be coming to me in a minute. It's the orange marker. It's 
coming up quickly. Here we go, just a few more stitches. And I'm gonna work to a certain number of stitches before the marker, in my case that's two. And that's half the number of stitches I'm going to need to bind off at the underarm. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm now almost there, two stitches from the side marker, and I'm going to start to bind off four stitches. So one, two, remove the marker, three, bind off three, and bind off four. So those are the bound off stitches for the underarm. And then, <clears throat> so I did that, work as established to the last two stitches. So the last two stitches are right before my steak marker. So I'm going to work as established until I get to my side marker. Slip the neck marker and work all the way to the side marker till I'm two stitches away. And when I'm two stitches away, I'm going to do a decrease. So let me do that. <clears throat> and the decrease is slip, slip, knit. So I'm going to slip, slip, and knit. And then I am at the last steak marker. And so I'm going to have a certain number of stitches left for my front. And I'm going to have five steak stitches. I'm going to have stitches for my front up to the underarm. Then I have the underarm. Then I have the stitches for the back, big long amount of stitches for the back. And then the underarm. And then my stitches for the front that are coming off the needle. How nice is that? And end with my steak stitches at the front. So that's it for this video. The next video that's coming up is going to show you how to join the body and the sleeves once you've finished the sleeves. So thank you for watching and look for the next episode. Bye-bye.